Chapter 1 Once upon a time in Gaul. Bonjour, mes amis. Join us on a rollicking adventure through the annals of French history as we journey back to the days of Eur and the land of Gaul. From the fearless warriors of Asterix and Obelix to the mighty legions of Julius Caesar, Gaul was a place of myth and legend. Where men were men and sheep were, well, let's not go there. Did you know, the Gauls were known for their ferocious resistance to Roman conquest, their love of feasting and merrymaking, and their uncanny ability to fashion fashionable headgear out of anything they could find. It's like a Gallic version of Project Runway, with more swords and fewer sequins. Chapter 2 The Merovingian Model As the dust settled on the ruins of the Roman Empire, a new era dawned in the land of the Franks. Enter the Merovingians, a dynasty of kings who ruled with all the wisdom of a sack of turnips and the grace of a herd of stampeding cattle. From Clovis to Clotha, their reign was a wild ride through the pages of history, complete with backstabbing, vitriol, and, well, probably a fair amount of mead. Did you know, the Merovingians were known for their luscious locks of hair, which was set to imbue them with mystical powers and the ability to bench press a small village. Some even claimed they were descended from the mighty Nos God, for, though the truth is probably closer to a really good conditioner. Chapter 3 Charlemagne and the Carolingian Caper Hark, the herald angels sing, it's time to meet Charlemagne, the towering figure of the Carolingian dynasty and the man who put the holy and holy Roman Empire. From his conquests on the battlefield to his cultural renaissance at court, Charlemagne was a force to be reckoned with leaving a legacy that would endure for centuries to come. Did you know, Charlemagne was known for his insatiable thirst for knowledge and his love of learning, establishing schools and libraries across his empire. He was also a bit of a stickler for punctuality, reportedly keeping a strict schedule that would make even the Swiss blush. Chapter 4 Revolution and Romance Fast forward to the 18th century, and France finds itself at a crossroads. The Age of Enlightenment is in full swing, the guillotine is getting a workout, and Napoleon is strutting his stuff across Europe like a peacock on parade. It's a time of revolution and romance, of libet, gallet, and well, you get the idea. Did you know? The French Revolution gave birth to some of the most iconic symbols of French culture, from the tricolor flag to the national anthem, La Marseillaise. It's like a do-it-yourself project gone gloriously, triumphantly, over the top French. And so, dear time travelers, our comedic odyssey through the history of France comes to a close. But fear not, for the adventure is far from over. What historical escapades shall we embark upon next? Share your ideas in the comments below, and don't forget to raise a glass of Bordeaux to the land of baguettes and brie. Until next time, au revoir. Thanks for being part of our journey. Until next time, take care and stay awesome. And don't forget to drop by on Discord.